Are you looking to buy a house? Well, guess what? I'm old, I bought several houses, and you can learn from my mistakes. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Amy Brown. I'm a realtor with Long & Foster in Columbia, Maryland. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's dive right in. I learned when I bought my first house that if I have sincere, genuine interest in a house, I should make an offer. If you're worried about whether the seller is gonna accept your offer or you're in competing offer situations, make the best offer you can and the worst thing that can happen is the seller says no and you move on. But you're gonna miss 100% of the houses that you don't put an offer on, guarantee it. Next up is prepare for success because your offer might get accepted. Real estate tends to be slow, 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 looking at houses and then bam, your offer gets accepted and everything speeds up really fast. So be prepared for that because the, the tone is gonna change a great deal. Next up, you can't buy anything big while you are waiting for final mortgage approval. If you're not sure, talk to your mortgage lender. It's not worth it. Wait until after settlement. I'm gonna link a related video above that touches upon this very topic. What I have learned over the course of buying many houses is an inspection only gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. An inspection is a snapshot of what's going on with a house that particular day. The first few months of any house I've owned have been a revolving door of contractors. And some of the small items or what I considered small items were surprisingly expensive to fix. So just keep that in mind. And during that time, during the first few months, you might be catching up on regular maintenance that was not done by the previous owner. That's really common and that has happened with every house I've purchased. The initial move-in period is going to be overwhelming, especially if your new home has an outdoor space and now you have to take care of a lawn. When you're a renter, many things the landlord handles for you. However, when you own a home, you have to sign up for utilities, you have to figure out HOA building, billing, you have to hire a locksmith. There is no landlord to ask about it. So that can be a, a big adjustment. And for anyone buying a home, make sure that you have money and time set aside for the unexpected repairs. You need to expect the unexpected. I want to bold and highlight that. It's so true with every house that I've purchased. Home ownership is really a journey of ups and downs, and I'm sure every homeowner watching this video would agree with that comment, but it's also incredibly rewarding to have a place that you can call home. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.